Hey, I'm Vea. Thank you for choosing this video and sharing your time with me today. Uh, today's video, as a part of the Self Care for Divorce series, is all about a better way to say no. I'm going to be talking about are you resourced or not? So, if you find this information helpful, please share it with people you think it will help because that's the whole point. Or, of course, you can click like and subscribe. But let's dive right in. I know that as women and as empaths and as maybe codependents, we often hear the advice of, you know, just saying no and not taking on too much and creating boundaries, but that's a really hard thing to do. At least it was for me. Every time someone asked me to do something, if I wanted to say no, there'd be this internal mental struggle of like, well, maybe I just should, you know, maybe I'm being a jerk for saying no, it's probably not that big of a deal. I could probably just pull it off. As soon as this idea of being resourced or not was introduced to me, that changed everything. Because I'm not saying no now. What I'm telling people is I'm not resourced to do that. When we're thinking about whether we're resourced or not, we can think about ourselves as either a battery or a bank account. So we can break it down into categories. You know, are we financially resourced? Are we emotionally resourced? Are we energetically resourced? Are we physically resourced? Are we practically resourced? And the way that we can think about it is in these categories, is our battery fully charged or is it almost empty? Is our bank account overflowing or are we running low on funds? When we're thinking about these different categories, some examples are, you know, am I financially resourced? That's straight up like, can I afford this or not? Emotionally resourced, like how are you feeling? Are you really raw and tearful and vulnerable? Have you noticed you're more irritable? Or are you feeling pretty good? You're calm, you're on your game. You know, that's resourced. Physically resourced. Maybe someone's like, hey, do you wanna go for a walk and you have a sprained ankle? Like, no, you're not resourced to do that. Or someone's asking you to help them move, you know, but you're just recovering from a back injury. Hell no, you're not resourced for that. You're not going to risk endangering your health to help someone else. You're not resourced. Energetically, do you have some vitality? Are you feeling healthy? Do you have extra to give right now? Or are you barely scraping by and getting done what you need to get done? are you energetically resourced and practically resourced? This can be things like, do you have room in your car for an extra person? Do you even have a car? Is someone inviting you to go somewhere way across the city and you don't have a car? Maybe you're just not resourced in that way. Maybe you don't have room in your house for a guest. Maybe you don't have enough food in your fridge to feed someone. Um, maybe you don't have an extra bike to lend someone. You're just not resourced. So if someone says to me, hey, can you pick my kid up from school and keep them for three hours until I get home from work? I consider, how resourced am I? Am I energetically resourced for this? Am I emotionally resourced for this? Am I financially or practically resourced for this? You know, maybe I'm super exhausted. It's been a really rough couple of weeks. I'm already feeling like I'm at the end of my rope. Or maybe I'm super low on groceries and I know I'm not gonna have snacks for this kid. Maybe I don't have room in my car so I'm not practically resourced for that. And so instead of saying, no, I'm sorry, or no, I can't, or whatever, I can just say, you know what? I'm just not resourced to be able to do that. I'd love to help you, I'm just not resourced. And the idea of being resourced or not is something you can also apply to yourself when you're considering doing something. You know, for example, I like to follow uh, publishing videos every five to seven days format. But recently the city I'm living in went through a massive heat wave and I had my kids here with me. We didn't sleep for five days. It was insanely hot and I just wasn't resourced to make a video. Maybe I could have pushed myself and done it, but the content would have been crappy. I would have been stressed out and too hot to do it properly. Like it just wouldn't have worked because I'm not resourced. So starting to think about yourself and how you show up for yourself, what you agree to, what you don't agree to do, and how you are helping and engaging with others in this way, am I resourced or not, is incredibly liberating and it's very empowering. 
all you're doing is assessing for yourself where you're at and what you're able to give and then sharing it honestly. And that's showing up as a fully actualized person, which is great. So this is another way that our crappy divorces are boosting us to be better people. We're having to figure this stuff out. Uh, people who get into relationships with high conflict people are very empathetic. We're generally codependents. We're generally people pleasers. So it's super hard to get out of the, yes, I'm gonna do this to help you. Yes, I'm gonna try to please you thing. Working with the idea of am I resourced or not is going to change all of that for you and it's going to free up your time. You're going to be able to better take care of yourself and you're going to start relating and interacting with other people in such a empowered, respectful way that you're going to see your relationships change. So it's all good stuff. Let's do a breath break. <sighs> Just even taking one slow, deep breath and doing an audible exhale resets and calms your nervous system, which is always a win. Yes. One other way we can apply this whole idea of being resourced or not is when we're either checking emails from our exes, contemplating responding to emails from our exes, or if we're debating whether or not to proceed with some kind of court action or a trial or something like that. Um, I actually have a sticky note over where I normally keep my computer asking, are you resourced right now? And sometimes if I stop and check in with myself, I'll decide, you know what, no. I'm not resourced enough to be reading these emails right now and I just leave it for the next day. Sometimes all you need is a good night's sleep or a walk or a couple hours away to build up your battery pack, to put more money in that bank account of yours and get to a place where you have what you need to be able to manage these things. Another way you can apply this is when you're considering like, am I going to go ahead with trial or should we try to mediate or should we try to negotiate through lawyers? I understand we don't always have that option, um, but it definitely needs to be a big consideration. Like, are we in a place in our lives financially, emotionally, energetically, and physically where we're going to be able to show up in a powerful way for a trial and everything that it involves or a mediation and everything that that involves? Looking at it this way is going to help you show up in powerful ways instead of, you know, half-assing it because you just kind of didn't think about it and you went into it without assessing what you're actually able to deal with in that moment. I love this tip. It's totally changed my life. I think it's going to help you too and I really hope it does. Please drop a comment below. How are you feeling? Are you resourced? What do you think about this idea? Let's talk about it and of course share it with people you like. Click all the buttons and hey, thanks again for sharing your time with me. I'll see you next time.